Our de-escalate study was looking at uh, low-risk uh, HPV positive patients um, and uh, these patients have been treated with chemoradiotherapy uh, mainly is the, is the standard of care. That's a very effective treatment, they do really well with that treatment but adding cisplatin to radiotherapy almost doubles the acute toxicity and also results in long-term toxicity. These are younger patients, they're surviving better and so they uh, end up uh, potentially living with the, the effects of, these treat of the treatment for you know, many decades. So there's been a consensus uh, around the world to consider de-escalating or reducing the toxicity of uh, treatments that are offered to those patients whilst at the same time maintaining the same good uh, survival outcomes. So uh, one of the strategies for de-escalation is uh, using cetuximab, which is a, uh, a, an epidermal growth factor receptor inhibitor. It's approved and FDA approved for head and neck and it's an existing treatment. Um, the registration study had showed that uh, its toxicity was only marginally more than radiotherapy alone. So we, uh, for many years, have thought of cetuximab as lower causing lower toxicity than cisplatin when combined with radiotherapy. Uh, and in some analyses, there's been a hint that HPV positive disease may respond better to cetuximab. So the trial was designed to um, compare cisplatin and radiotherapy as a standard of care with another standard of care, which is cetuximab and, and radiotherapy in this um, group of low-risk HPV positive disease.